if they say if we'll only avoid avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to love it. What's going on guys? It's Psych and we're back with another video and this dragon is crazy. I tried to bend Will to keep it, you know, alive because I'm a pacifist low-key. Um, just on this character since I've killed everything, I feel like it's pointless. Nonetheless, though, it is currently Thanksgiving in my time zone, in my time period. 98 hours. <laughs> that looks terrible. I just keep forgetting to turn off my Xbox. I should probably do that for electricity, but nonetheless, you guys can comment about that or whatever. But... With that being said, we're going to be seeing all the Dragon Peak locations, every single one. Um, I'm pretty sure all of them have a word of power, or yeah, I think is what they're called, a word of power, a shout, basically. Um, but if they don't, I'll be letting you know that as well. Currently, like I said, currently Thanksgiving here during, um, I guess during this time of day, it's Thanksgiving. I um, want to say thank you to everyone, how grateful I am for each and every one of you and uh, just virtually everything you do. I'll probably upload this a day after Thanksgiving. So, wanted to say that now. Thank you so much, giving thanks. I'm grateful for all the new viewers, the new support, the new subscribers, um, all the comments, the constant likes, and just positive support is incredible. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for uh, just everything you do. Um, but without further ado, click that like button and let's get into the video. Let's see the uh, let's see all the Dragon Peak locations. Okay, guys, on to number one, on to the first location, the first Dragon Peak. I decided to kill him just for the fact of how annoying and loud he was in the video, and kind of made it a little hard to film. So I just decided to uh, kill him nonetheless. Um, the first location is going to be North Wind Summit. This is uh, very, very close to Riften. So if you just you know use the caravans, that's how I'm gonna probably you know tell you how to get to these. The best spot would be get into a caravan. And then from there, uh, at the stables of any location, probably White Run will be your first. Um, you'll just go to go up to the caravan, pay them. I think it's fifteen to fifty or something like that gold, and they'll take you to a uh, they'll take you to a main city. So give them like twenty five thirty. Go to Riften, follow this main trail right here, and then virtually you'll just scale the mountain in one way or another. I came up through right here and kind of just jumped over. Um, you can take it this way and kind of climb around, but nonetheless, North Wind Summit, it, uh, it looks like this. The Word of Power is back here on its little temple. There's a chest here. Um, there's that dragon. I went into all the houses. There wasn't anything of importance in either of these first two, but the one way back here, there's a skeleton of the dead dude, probably the last guy, and then a chest which was a debt or a apprentice for me, so it might be higher or uh, lesser for you, or it might just be unlocked. Not fully sure, um, but nonetheless, that is the first spot. What was it called again? Just so I know what I'm saying. North Wind Summit. So uh, let's go to the next one. We are on to the second one here, and if you like killing, you know, like big stuff like dragons and then fighting giants and mammoths right after, if you like the action, this is going to be the spot for you, this zone mainly, because there's a lot of just like killing and things you can do over here, um, yeah, related to killing. Let me see the location name, I think it's, yeah, it's Bonestrew Crest, so... You can either come straight down from where Windhelm is, get a horse and go this way, or since you're already at North Wind Summit, the one at Riften, if you just scale down the mountain and then take a left or a right or however you want to go around this little mountain thing or hill, uh, you will get to the Bone Strew Crest. The dragon I got was just a straight up old modern day dragon, nothing crazy. There's not a lot here. There's a little bit of iron and things you can mine. I think that's what that is. Um, yeah, iron, and then the chest, the main chest, because there's one at all these is over there. I think you just heard that honk from a car. It's Thanksgiving Day. These people are acting crazy. Here is the wall for the word of power, the shout. Uh, there's not a whole lot here. Like I said, there's a lot of dead mammoth skulls. You can go down there and kill those guys, and then you can, you know, go all around here and kill all sorts of things, because there's a lot of stuff over here. There's little ruins and stuff with skeletons. Uh, but that's basically it. So, uh... That's, we're going to head on to the third one.
Next entry on the list is going to be Autumn Watch Tower. Uh, it's pretty secluded on the edge of the map. Virtually, um, that's Bone Strew, and then that's North Wind. So virtually, if you just go left, either you can go from uh, Riften or what is this, Iverstead. So any anywhere over there, over there, you could probably get here. Also, it looks like there's a path right here from Riverwood. So if you just want to follow that path as well, and then once you get over there, get to the ruins, and then get to autumn watch tower like i said it's really just in the corner there's nothing left that is the edge of the map obviously you can't go past um larsberg whatever that's called yeah so that's the location you could pretty much figure out where that is if you can't just virtually look around and try and find the uh zone it's very orange it's the rifton zone so just just check around there set a marker where my icon was here's the chest uh, if you climb to the top of the far back um, watchtower, let me see where it's at. Yeah, the far back watchtower, this one right here. If you climb to the top, there's the chest. And then if you go over that little bridge, here is the wall, the word of power, the shout that you'll get right here. So you should get seven extra shouts, seven or eight extra shouts by the end of this once you've made it to all the Dragon Peak locations. Uh, that's virtually it for that one. That is number three on the list, so we're going to head to number four. Okie dokie, kiddos. We're on to number four, and this one is Anther or something. Hold on. Mount Anther. So if you've been to, you know, we're going to go back to the map. Mount Anther. If you've been to the Shrine of Azura or the College of Winterhold for any reason, like Septimus Singus, uh, Sarthal, any of those, you should have probably came across Mount Anther. If you have not, though, there is a pathway you can follow either from this side, if you go up like that, or from Azura's, go around like that. You can get here. You can also kind of scale the mountain from the front side here, kind of go sideways and get up here. There is virtually no way from the back that I've noticed because you run into these little mountain hills. You could probably get through right there or right there. But otherwise, I would advise coming from this side. So there is the College of Winterhold. Let me see all the other main locations. There's Dawnstar. There's Windhelm. Uh, let's see. There is Bonestrew, where we already were. So that's how, you, that's how you get to Mount Anther. If you don't know, there's some little tips and guides. You can also get the Shrine of Azura. If you haven't already, you can do the reverse. You can go here and then go to the Shrine of Azura and get Azura Star or the Black Star. I would advise the Black Star. Uh, but yeah, so you come over here. The dragon's probably going to be sitting right up there. There is also an alchemy table right here. I did not see the chest. I looked around. You have these little guys, the uh, urns. I didn't see the chest. I didn't go to the far right over there, though. So here's the word of power. Here's the um, wall, the power, the shout. Let me see real quick if the chest is over here. If they, Well, that's where Lydia came from, so probably not. Yeah, so it does not look like there is actually a chest here, unfortunately. I think I said there was. But maybe actually I might have I might have fibbed I might have lied. Hold on, there's a lot of random stuff over here. Or is that ore? It's all ore. What's this dude doing? He's like growling. Maybe I'm supposed to follow him. He's gonna lead me somewhere. Let's just do that real quick, guys. Hold on. We're only gonna do it probably for like ten seconds. I just want to see if he'll lead me to a chest that I did not see. Oh, that's a that's a wall. Maybe it's up there. Whatever. If you guys don't find the chest, I don't think there is one. Oh, that's what I wanted to say about this. Okay, so there's two glitches, or there's a glitch in this as well, so I'm going to kind of just come over here and explain it to you before I skip on to the next one. You see that down there? That's the skeleton. If you've heard of the, oh god, I don't know the name. It's like the Book of the Dead or something like that. Every time, we'll just kill the skeleton while he's on that um, little mantle right there, and then one should pop up there, there, and there kill all three of those they're one hit they're super easy and uh take the book from the dead guy on the the stand right here his inventory get out of the inventory and then go into it again and the book will keep respawning the book sells for like 60 or something like that or even if it's 30 it's it's not a lot but if you carry a bunch of them and then you also have a horse or you have um uh what are they called followers 
Jesus, you probably didn't get that long pause, but that was like 15 seconds. I couldn't think of a follower. If you have a follower as well, they will be able to hold some of those books. And uh, if you just take it to a, to a seller and then sell it to them over and over and do the, uh, all right, well, I have another guide to go, but that that's how you do that glitch. If I've made a video on the glitch by the time this is up or however I do that, I will leave it linked down below on how to do it. If not, be looking forward to it in the next couple of days, or you can just find another wonderful YouTuber that's done it. But that was number four on the list. Let's head over to number five. Okie dokie, artichokey, young ones, listen up. Here's the fifth location. It is Sheer Point. I rephrase, I think I said either the third or the fourth one was the one you're probably going to encounter first. I lied, it's Sheer Point. Sheer Point is so close to White Run that if you wanted to from White Run, you could get there, or if you wanted to do it from the Ritual Stone. Um, let me see, what, what's this right here? The White River Watch. Hunting Brew Meadery, any of these right here, Pelagia Farm, any of those, uh, let's see what also is around here, all these all, all these locations, Throat of the World, that's High Rothgar right there, it, virtually any of these. If you have been partially into the main quest, you can follow this path here, then follow the path here, and then just walk up here. These This little patch of snow is super easy to walk up. Uh, it's very, very leveled, so when you're going up, you're not going to get stuck very often. There's also Tumble Arch Pass, which is uh, uh, another, what's what are they called, giant camps. So you can do that after you fight this dragon as well. But nonetheless, Sheer Point is the first one. Now I've also, this is a little two-in-one, same as the last one, I've been asking about, or people have been asking me how to get... This bow I had called the Noctish Wing, or I think it's not Nordic, but it's like Noctic, or Noctish Wing Bow. We'll look in a second, or Noctis Wing Bow. None, nonetheless, I've been getting asked about it all the time. It is a mod, it's not in the game, but if you do want to know where it is, this is the location. So, okay, Noctis Wing Bow. This is that beautiful bow. Oops, I didn't mean to take it. I meant to view it, nonetheless. We'll, uh... We'll view it like this. You can see the two dragons at the top right, bottom left. It's just, it's a beautiful bow. If this was in the game, my goodness, I don't know if anyone would ever use any other bow. Unless it was boo-boo. But people are good. People know how to make things strong. So, this, this bow is, it's absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, it's 57. What's mine right now? My bow is 138. It's dragon, but it's super upgraded. So, you know and ignore the names whatever you guys can see but that's how you get that i'll be making a main video for the couple of you that have seen this cool for everyone else there will be a main video i guess that's not really for you guys because you you already see it nonetheless uh here's the main chest here is the word of power now i can't recall if this one opened the first time and i fought a dragon priest either way if he does pop up, be ready to fight him and a dragon, but the rewards are super worth it, you know, especially if you have the wing bow mod. Put it on novice and kill these guys in like three seconds and then grab your stuff and then you can start getting better. Do whatever you want to do. But that was the fifth location, Sheer Point. Uh, let's go on to the sixth one. I'm pretty sure we're on number six. Um, I'll get my numbers correct in just a second if I'm not. I think it's number six, so we're going to take this one as number six. First off, look at that beautiful halo ring. I know it's modded. doesn't matter. Look how pretty Skyrim is. I mean, look at those colors. That's phenomenal. That's just phenomenal. Had to say that. Uh, the dragon that did die here was a blood dragon, so be cautious. Not fully sure if it's going to be that high for you guys. The chest is right here. Grab whatever you want to grab from there. Here is the word of power, but let's find the location before we say all that. This is Ancient's Ascent. It's super duper close to Fall Creek. Now, I know this is like far off from the last one, Sheer Point, and I could have done, um, uh, 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 I'll get it, I'll get it, Skyborn Altar, but I felt like technically this one's closer to the to the middle like if you're going like next in line because i'm trying to do like a line not really you know an order to go but this is super duper close to fall Creek. all you really got to do is um use the caravan use the use the wagon get to fall Creek, follow this path forward and then either you can go to helgen and cut this way 
which is what I did. I got to about right here and then started going this way, and that's where you can see I got the gray water grotto. You can also kick off that and then go up here and, you know, walk around. But either way, either this location right there or this spot right over here, uh, that's how you can get to it. I, I've tried going from the front, and you get stuck right here a lot because that's kind of like an overhanging cliff. And then you could probably scale right here and make it over here a little faster. But either way, I mean, I think, wait, that is what I did. No, I did it from right there. Either way, guys, it doesn't matter. Use one of those ways to be able to get over here. If there's a blood dragon, I apologize for you. Hopefully you can kill it again, change it to novice or whatever if you need to. Otherwise, there's the chest. There is the shout, the word of power. Uh, what's around it? I didn't really look at the locations other than Falkreath. So, Lakeview Manor, this is one of the custom houses, Helgen. Oh, yeah, I showed the locations. Okay, well, that is number six. Let's go, uh, let's go head over to number seven. Okay, we got lucky number seven coming in here. Uh, virtually, this one should be pretty easy for you to get for the fact of what's around it. So, if you do the quest, uh, what is it? For Mayrune's Dagon, for Mayrune, yeah, Mayrune's Day, Mayrune's Dagon. Jeez, I could not say that saved my life. If you do that quest where you get his uh, his dagger, Mayrune's Razor, uh, which has a chance to instantly kill any target, um, that's incredible, by the way. No. <clears throat> okay, coming in at lucky number seven. Uh, this is a pretty easy a pretty easy dragon peak to get to for the fact that what it's next to what it's around So we have Skyborn altar, which is very 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 close to the shrine of Mayrun's Dagon I can't zoom in anymore, but you can see I mean it is probably 20 30 feet away from each other. It is absolutely no distance whatsoever You could walk to the other one and you know not need a drink of water to rehydrate <laughs> but if you do the quest in Dawnstar for what whatever his name is, and you're going to get the Mayrune's Razor, the Daedric Artifact quest, if you do that, you'll most likely just get to the Shrine of, May Shrine of Mayrune's Dagon. My goodness, tongue twisters today. From there, you'll be able to just walk over to Skyborn Altar. Otherwise, you're going to need to go to Morthal, follow the path, and then go about right here and scale this mountain or you can go around here scale the mountain this way and get over here because I couldn't really find an easy location to get right here because I'm on the edge right here there's no way you could get up you'd have to come from this way of Tower of Mazark and go over here um, the Lord Stone and go that way but if you're already over here you might as well just cut through like right here uh, sorry right here and just go you know up and over but nonetheless, that's where Skyborn Altar is. Let's, uh, excuse me, follower. Let's see what we got over here. So, I didn't see the chest right away. I found an adventurer dead over here. Had some nice gold. Here is the Wall of Power, the Shout, or the Word of Power, the Wall, the Shout. Uh, I got a regular dragon, so if you got a regular dragon... Ooh, souls, I didn't see that. That's lame still, because it's Iron Sword, but... There is, uh, I just got a regular dragon. And then I finally found the chest after walking far left over here. I had a couple of good things I was going to grab out of here. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's a pretty good spot. There's another dragon. If he'd come over here, I'd just, I'd probably not kill him. Not going to lie. Let's see, what is that over there? There's also, I think that's the labyrinthian. It looks like the labyrinthian. You'll go virtually over there, into there, up those stairs. And because right in there is where the you put all the dragon priest masks, the uh, the wooden ones. I'll have a link in the description how to get all the dragon priest masks and uh, where to where to turn them in at, which is right there. And you'll get a wooden mask, which I, I forget what it has, but it has a lot of good stuff. Or, or the one inside of it does. Either way, you, you'll know. Just watch that video, you'll know. But that's going to be location number seven for you. What was the name of it again? So I can end on a good note. My goodness. Skyborn Altar, number seven. Let's move to number eight. Okay, guys. Now I made a big realization. The dragon that I just mentioned that I probably wouldn't kill, which I didn't. I bended his will, and now he's just flying around. 
um, nonetheless, that one, you can see the labyrinthian down there. That was this mountain, the next one where we were going. I don't know why I didn't think that. I was like, wow. Uh, or I mentally thought as I was uh, doing that part of the video, like, wow, I kind of wish I could go, you know, see what type of dragon it is. It's a blood dragon, by the way. We're over at his peak. That's where we just were, right over there. The Shrine of Mayrun's Dagon is somewhere right over there. Or maybe that's not who I just said. I don't know. Nonetheless, I'm getting a little confused after all these are a little um, twisted and, you know, getting them confused here and there. Nonetheless, uh, it's a blood dragon, as you can see. He, he's not hostile to me, but he'll probably be hostile to you. Here is the word of power, the shout. Let me show you the map, though, where we're at. We are at the Elder Blood Peak. No, it was Shrine of May Rooms. No, I wasn't confused. Never mind. So we were just at Skyborn Altar. If you basically head down, there's the Labyrinthian, or you can either scale down from the other mountain and try and do all this zigzagging, or you can go to Morthal and just walk up here. It's super flat right here and pretty pretty easy to walk up. And then from there, you might have to scale a little bit either right here or probably right here because it's a lower spot. I can't zoom in anymore, can I? There we go. So yeah, probably right here is going to be your best bet. You can also try over here, but I would advise over here. Um, that's how I got up here. So let's see. Elder Blood Peak next to Morthal, Labyrinthian, the other one. Let's see if there's any other things close by. Not really. There's Rorikstead, Coolio. There's Solitude, the Abandoned Shack. You can see all these little things over here. If you can't find it, uh, just mark the location right here and just walk around until you find it. It'll, it'll look like that dragon icon on your map anyway, as you can see top right if you look up, or top middle. He's just chilling. I like that. Is he going to stay right there? Because that's super cool looking. Hopefully he stays right there. But nonetheless, there's a dead cow here too. I didn't see a chest. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, the chest is right over here. Let's see if there's anything good in it real quick, just because I like to look. Black Soul Gems, we'll take it because we need it. Um, wow, there's a lot of random stuff in there coolio so it might be a good chest it might not be for you but this one and the other one that were uh that had blood dragons on them were i feel like stronger dragon peaks so you're gonna get better loot things like that also depends on your level so with that being said this is the eighth one now let's head on to the final dragon peak number nine meet you guys there Okay, guys, we made it to, well, Lydia just fell. We made it to the final Dragon Peak. This is the last one. If you have not gotten all of them, timestamps should be in the description down below. But if they're not, just watch the video. Otherwise, this is the ninth one. Let's get into it real quick for you so I can get you, get you through this. Dragon Tooth Crater is what it is. It's close to the Shrine of Pyrite, which is how you can get the Spellbreaker. There's that. Uh, Dragon Bridge, let's see what that is. That, <laughs> there's also the uh, Skyhaven Temple for the Dragonborn, or Dragon, yeah, no, Dragonborn. And then Markarth is probably going to be your closest main location, um, unless you can go to Dragon's Bridge, which sometimes you can do if you progress far enough, um, but have not found it yet. So Dragon Tooth, it's kind of secluded, far left. Uh, there's quite a few things over here, as you can see. Uh, I think I just had a regular dragon. He despawned for me, so I don't I don't have a chance to look for you guys. I killed him a little earlier. Some dead Imperials. All right, you're just gonna come over here. Here's the uh, final word, the final shout, and then the chest. Let's see what I got inside of it. Nothing too crazy. I'll take the gold. Uh, there's also some death belt or nightshade. That's what they're called, nightshade. Um, but yeah, guys, that is going to be it. That's going to be the video. Uh, that's all the Dragon Peak locations. I really hope this was helpful to you. I really hope, you know, you were able to learn something new while playing this. You know, get a little more knowledge on your path. Nonetheless, I just want to say thank you guys so much. I'm extremely grateful for everything you do. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I know I will. This is Psych. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.